Hello and welcome. I'm trying out a new format for the wars. The majority of these replays are actually live replays and there's nothing under those black boxes. But unfortunately some of the files, about 3 of 10, were corrupted and I had to go back and get regular replays. So to keep it all a mystery, every single one of them, even though most of the time they don't need it, will have boxes in front of the timers and where it says whether it's a replay or a live replay. This is the first attack, so let's see what happens. It's the first attack of the entire clan war. It's kind of disappointing that we were paired with these guys. We were supposed to be paired with Quantum's Web. We were going to have a big 50 versus 50 war. They changed it to 45 versus 45 at the last minute, and we kind of ended up paired with someone else because the change was too sudden. We are also supposed to be paired with in the dark next but unfortunately we found someone else even though we both started searching at the same time we got paired with the current number 19 clan it's not in English so I cannot read it it's a uh, Arabic I believe so he's already doing very well if you remember from my pushing videos I actually three starred a base like this although it's not exactly the same this guy was one of their lower bases. I think he was 36 of 45. So he's gone ahead and he's destroyed most of it. And I believe that was the last defense. Yes, that was the last defense. All you have is what you see here and I believe two witches up there. Or is that one witch? I think it's just one witch. But anyways, yeah, one witch. So he's going through. Now all that's a factor is time. This is is the first raid so like everyone's watching it I got lucky and was able to get into the live replay because I was just sitting there ready waiting to start recording also you'll be able to see that all of these raids start a few seconds in because a regular live recording always does start a few seconds in and I still clipped the three non live raids just so you couldn't tell just give me a little feedback on this, what you think I should do, if I should continue doing this and make them all live or pseudo live if I'm unable to catch it live. But I did spend almost the entire war just watching the war map, trying to make sure I caught as many live raids as I could. So he's gone ahead and lured everything up here. I actually got to participate in the war. The final two raids are going to be my raids. I obviously can't fake a live raid if it's my raid because you can obviously tell if I don't have the troop bar at the bottom but he's going in this is a great start to a raid he's already got his heroes going in and they're going the right direction that's how you want to start a good raid you get everything all down right at the beginning and they're all going right where they need to go so he's already in the core and that town hall's already down you can't see the percentage, unfortunately, but I can tell you that it's a two-star already. Look at all those buildings destroyed. So the king's a little bit low, and he's already used his special ability, but the expo has been frozen. Now this base is unmaxed. I, I think this was their number 39 player, if I remember correctly. So yeah, he's pretty low down on the total player list. And also this clan was not a uh, particularly strong clan as far as they go for wars up here. Like this clan didn't even have one fully maxed player in it. Although their top like 30 players or something had level 40 heroes so that was decent. Some of my uh, live raids actually lag a little bit so you're going to be able to tell uh, when some of them are live. Not all of them. Not all of them had that little spinny sort of loading circle but some of them do and you can notice that and I think one of them actually freezes for a good five seconds unfortunately his archer queen is leading the way and those golems even though there's two full golems are offering zero protection for the archer queen the archer queen is going to go down to that low level archer tower but I mean he's got golems and wizards and a pekka it's no stopping this and that's a three star not all of these raids are three stars there are some two stars and I did not show all of the three stars so it's not 
you know, going to be all three stars, so you don't have to have any guessing what's going to happen. So, Bonds has already started off this raid well, and it freezes. Okay, jumping king there, just sort of bouncing in place. Come on, there we go. But those P.E.K.K.A. go in, P.E.K.K.A. are going straight down the center, king. Uh, there's a the queen. I was wondering where the queen was. And a jump spell right there. Rage spell. Personally, I would have dropped the rage a little farther in, but it doing its job right now the uh, king is down the queen is down there's a lot of crap in that core those tesla are pretty nasty when you get down to it but the queen and the king are both on the town hall king's ability has been used uh, rage spell isn't doing much right now no one's standing it but the archer queen goes ahead and moves in uh, what does he have left oh that multi-target inferno is taking out those wizards that's not good but let's see king's gone down queen's almost down oh this is not looking like a three star queen's ability has been used uh, oh yeah queen's all that's left besides those mini golems and she's on storages instead of cannons this is not gonna be a three star i don't think no nope. queen's already being hit and she's gonna go ahead and die and yeah that looks like about it anything left there no there's just that one wizard and it's down that's an 80 percent two star not bad perfectly good attack and i actually ended up catching a live raid on my base this guy yeah okay yeah sure load right while i'm trying to talk but this guy I'm sorry, I, I have no idea what he was doing when he was naming himself. I, I think he was just running his hand back and forth along the keyboard. But he's going to go ahead and pull out. Unfortunately, I had a uh, two witch, two wizard, three barbarian clan castle, and that's not going to do anything against balloon minions. So he's going to go in there with that rage, and I'm going to freeze again, jumping queen... I'm trying out this base design. I kind of, okay, I'll admit I stole it from Ice Ice Baby because it looked good, and it's, it's so far it look looks like it's gonna work good. Apologies if they don't want me sort of stealing their designs, but I mean, with their track record, I kind of trust their base designs. If I can't think of one myself, but that guy was not expecting that Tesla. I don't think because he should have deployed more balloons. Those balloons are going to go in. I don't think that balloon can last long enough. No, that Tesla takes it out. And my Archer Tower is still up. That's actually amazingly good. Because it's going to be taking out those minions. And every single minion counts. That Archer Tower is just sitting pretty in the back. Taking out all the minions one at a time. And I guess he's clearing up percent on the other side. But he's going to... Okay, yeah, storage is almost full. I actually, you know, have to delete a bunch of stuff on my phone. Because there's no space. So now he's just going to be deploying a massive amount of balloons right there. Uh, heroes are in their 30s. They're not that great. I think this guy was pretty far down the list. And, okay, freeze up. Sure. Ah, uh, those down expos. I guess that's why he thought he could attack me with balloons. But, I mean, they're taking out his heroes. He's got right on his queen. My king's just... At least he's distracting the minions. My king distracted the minions for a little while. And that gives him time to slow up so the balloons get too far ahead and oh he does not have any minions left all he's got is his king that is not going to be enough to get to my town hall he does have at least one star but that looks like that's all he's going to get because i yep he's out of troops and he surrenders at 54 percent one star is effectively a surrender so sorum is attacking again so let's see if he can get another three star so that P.E.K.K.A. is... I, why would you put a P.E.K.K.A. in your clan castle during a clan war? It's like, the guy bring... You could bring one witch and take out a P.E.K.K.A. with one witch. P.E.K.K.A. for defense in clan castles, especially when people can plan their attacks on you. And they'll always bring witches. They'll almost always bring witches. Oh, That's just... 
a new level of retardation if you put a P.E.K.K.A. in your clan castle. You obviously don't want to win if you do that. That uh, The free spells probably, the first one at least, probably wasn't even needed that much, I don't think. But, okay, he's got two rage spells down and two free spells down so far. The queen's down. Core's almost empty. There's uh, one expo and almost no inferno tower left. Okay, there's nothing left in the core. His queen, oh, his queen's getting hit by all those archer towers up there. That's no good. He's got to, he's got to throw up the uh, queen's special ability just because of those archer towers. That's such a waste. Oh, the queen's completely unprotected. There's no hope for that queen. She's not even going to take out that archer tower. But, I didn't notice it, but there's four witches just casually going around the base. They've destroyed all those outside buildings. If you go back to my video about how to three-star people in clan wars without hogs, I pretty much say you're going to want something going around the outside to clean up that percentage while you're taking out everything inside the walls if you want to have enough time. And this is actually looking really good. The king is half health. That's decent. He's got like 4,500 health anyways or something like that. I forget the exact uh, nerfed amount of health. But, yeah, those, that wizard's going to take out that last defense, and all you got left is these two things. It's been a little while into the replay, but I think he's got enough time. And, yeah, three stars. Uh, that's six stars for this one player in Clan Wars. So now we're coming in. Gar is attacking this base. This base has been attacked twice already. The people just keep running out of time. This base is, you know, such an easy three-star, and I really think Gar can get the three-star on this one. Just spoiler alert right there. If Gar doesn't get the three-star, this is a huge upset because I have no idea what this guy was thinking when he designed his base. He must have just wanted to have a cool replay where his base gets three-starred. This design is absolutely horrendous. But Gar is just going to be patient right here and let his superior amount of witches take down those two witches in the clan castle. And in go the hogs. At this point, after two previous raids, Gar should know where the giant bombs and crap are because... They've been set off by two other players that attack this base. One of the uh, previous attacks was a one-star 90%. The timer ran out while the hogs were attacking the town hall. But, okay, that, yeah, that giant bomb goes off. And there's a freeze and a rage right there. Unfortunately, the freeze runs out before they destroy it, but they are able to take it down and get right into another heal spell. And the heroes... If you're wondering where this guy's heroes were, they were outside up top, and he was able to use his heroes plus a couple small troops to take out their heroes. They were completely outside the walls in the corner. What is the point of having heroes if you throw them into the corner? I mean, they were covered by two wizard towers, but, I mean, you drop a golem and two heroes, and suddenly you, the enemy, in this case... Michael Dan 2008 has no more heroes left and this guy's got level 40 heroes he's throwing them away ooh that's a nasty giant bomb and he's got no heal spells left but now he's just got to be able to take out everything in time it's going to be tight there's not much time left I don't think and he just lost a bunch of hogs to that spring trap right there and my storage is almost full again stop it I know I gotta delete things I got bunch of wasted space and all that's left is that clan castle come on no 99% let's do this come on come on you got this 100% that's another three star for farming kings okay coming in a little bit late on this replay I was not paying attention and then I just looked and found this already in progress and wanted to catch up with it I think this guy's uh, number 40-something. 40, 40 I think like 41, 42. And, ooh, those wall breakers are going to get taken out right there. Let's see, uh, does he have any other wall breakers? Or, I think he's just going to rely on the uh, P.E.K.K.A. to take out this whole walls and all that. 
but that is a uh, nice jump spill right there. It opens up four different compartments right there. Just lets everything spill around. And yeah, this is an unmaxed base, so three starring it is not particularly hard with someone who has a level 35 king and a 40 queen. But it can be tough with the time constraints, especially given how retarded the AI can be sometimes. Okay, so that king is almost dead. The king's about to die. And yeah, he's gonna go get go down right there. But that Pekka, uh, nope, never mind, that Tesla's going to screw over that Pekka. But he's going to go ahead and activate that Queen's ability. And the Queen is, where's the Queen going to, the Queen's going to go away from those buildings. That's, that's going to be a little bit of a problem, because at the rate it's going, the uh, Queen right there may not have enough time to get back. Also, there's a useless Golem off to the right, if you can see that wall, yeah, there. It's, that Golem's just beating on the wall and doing nothing and oh that's what the queen is doing but that's kind of what she always does so no surprises here but yeah there's still three buildings all the way there on the right and I mean the queen's getting hit by the tesla and the archer tower that golem better get ahead of her and luckily that golem is going to be soaking that cannon's damage but I don't know if the queen can get back to the other side in time. This might be like a 97% or something. So, let's see what we got. Ooh, that is not good. Uh, oh, it's lucky that that queen turned around before that second bomb went off. That takes out a lot of the queen's health. And it looks like that she's going to be able to get through there. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, you're going to hit a wall. You know, you... you Okay, you and the archers are going to exchange places, okay. But he still gets 100%. And, I don't know, it doesn't matter if the queen's being retarded as long as you get the 100%. So I'm coming in on this raid right here. BJ is raiding Thang Bio 84. Dragon and the loons in the clan castle... That's usually a uh, good thing to have for uh, defending against ground uh, attacks, but BJ is actually taking some minions just in case you have something like that that can't hit air troops. Oh, going from straight across the top. But yeah, those minions, I mean balloons or Valkyries in the clan castle, you place what down one minion as long as there's nothing else out there right now. You'll just take out their entire clan castle without losing anything of your own. You don't need a lightning spell, nothing. Okay, gonna rage right there and jump. That king is being taken out really fast by those three wizards. And the, and his king is already in the core and heading for that archer queen. The core is frozen solid and raged. Ooh, I don't know what that single target inferno is on, but that is not good. But it's down, and the other one goes down too, so that's good. And the queen's actually going to be smart. Oh, no, no, she's not. She's going to run past the expo. Luckily, it still got killed. But she, if it had not been killed, she would have just run past that expo and completely ignored it. And then just probably gotten hammered by it. Okay, what's going on up there? Just got a little bit up there. And there's a P.E.K.K.A. going around the left. Uh, King is taking out the wall. Luckily, there's nothing in range or else he'd be dead. He's got not much health left. But they're out of the core. It looks like they cleared off the uh, left side. No, they didn't. Where are you going? And giant bomb. And, okay, okay, they're going to go all the way over there. Just be useless over there. Giant bomb. Uh, golem's final... Yep, yeah, the golem's gone. So it's all just golemites now. But there's only one cannon left, I think, on the whole map. So that should be decent, at least. Okay, uh, at least the queen's here. They shouldn't even need to break into there. Queen's ability used just now. Wow, I didn't even notice that he still had it. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, go back that way. Okay. And I believe this is the last building. So let's see. Yep, 100%. Let's see, okay. Now, 
we can go to my raids obviously this is a replay I'm showing you that it's a replay because you can obviously tell that I mean if there's no troop bar at the bottom it's obviously a replay and I'm just launching my wall breakers everywhere you're just watching them fly up but I'm trying to get my heroes in that is a terrible jump spell it does nothing that that I am embarrassed by that jump spell I am sorry uh, where are you now stop it wall breakers yes wall breaker did something smart and he opened up the core so let's see oh some news I have my uh, my wireless router which I need for streaming it's on its way here now it's been ordered and all that good stuff so I mean I just gotta sort of practice and get used to uh, how to use reflector and all that stuff then I should be okay and ready to stream this week. But I'm actually uh, pretty happy with that lightning spell. I'm just dropping the P.E.K.K.A. on the bottom to pick up some percentage. I was saving that in case I get, you know, the rare chance that I get close to a 3-star obviously not going to happen because, I mean, there's 2, 1, 55%. Whatever, I got the 2-stars, and this was one of those bases that's not really 3 star bowl because you can't, really get the heroes out same with this one but this one is a live raid okay uh, I'm basically going with the same go wipe strategy only I am an idiot I needed to save like a wizard or something for the top to take out that mortar to empty out the compartment so wall breakers don't go for the compartment but luckily they're uh, smart enough to go for that corner but then they're stupid enough to go for that corner and even though that is already open, go ahead and destroy, you know, every single wall and leave not enough to open the core. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that jump spell. I wanted that jump spell to get out of the core, not into it. Where are you going, queen? No, stop being stupid. And there's a dragon in the clan castle. Okay, all I have is Pekka and a king. And I don't know why I dropped that free spell. So I took out his town hall. That dragon's still there at full health. I have nothing that can hit air. I think there's like one archer, so uh, where am I going to put this? I want to drop the clan castle just for some extra percentage. Like, look at that, I got golems and P.E.K.K.A. There's one little archer firing. Nope, archer's just bouncing back and forth now. So let's go ahead and drop my clan castle. There's supposed to be three wall breakers in there, but it's not like it makes a difference. I think I just went through this entire attack without killing his clan castle. Even though it's up, it's just following me around really slowly. So that looks like the end of this attack. I'm obviously not going to get 40% with one lightning spell, so let's end that battle. Two stars on another non-three star type base. The clan wars ends 100-7. to 7. They didn't even really use their attacks. I knew this was coming because I've seen people who've warred against these guys before, and they just don't use their attacks if the clan is decent. I think they only are willing to participate against weak clans that they can smash. But we went ahead and smashed them with a 100 to 7, that is 10 3 stars, and 35 2 stars. Yes, that's what it is. Average destruction 73.3%. I got some nice war bonus. Normally I wouldn't need it, but I'm still working on Unbreakable, so my storages and resources and all that crap are just flying out the window right now. Is every defense someone's just dropping a lightning spell on my storage but let's go ahead and just take a look at the war map in just a second but yeah I should be done with unbreakable soon I don't know how soon I'll be done with unbreakable I'm going really slow with it though I may put up a guide on unbreakable if I figure out how to do it best but let's take a quick scroll up actually it put me at the bottom scroll up and yeah so they really didn't attack us but I had fun nonetheless and I'm in for the next war which will be uploaded. We were supposed to war within the dark we didn't get in the dark but I'm still gonna upload it and thanks for watching.